In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull up playback of recorded video. So if you need to see something that happened, if you need to just find out if somebody was on your property, if uh, an employee got hurt, you know, any kind of circumstance where you want to pull back the video from a previous time, this is how you do it. You're going to go on the menu in the top left hand corner with the three lines. You're going to click on playback because we're trying to play back the information. Then we'll click on the plus button. You could technically do multiple cameras at a time. In this circumstance, we're just going to do the one just to show what that would look like. And then you could take it from there. Click on the plus button. From here, we're going to ask, it's going to ask us what our, we want our time to be. So we're going to, I want today, I want at 10 a.m. And then I want to also, you know, I only need the first 30 minutes, 10 to 10:30. You can you can really set it to whatever you want, but this is what your this is your frame that it's going to pull up. Click on regular. 99% of customers are only going to need regular. Very few have very detailed systems where the alarm motion are, are set up separately. Most of the systems are recording all the time. Then you're going to click on your device, the device we set up in the previous video. You're going to find all your different cameras. Most of the time, yours will be named. Ours are camera just camera names with numbers because ours are uh, we have a big system here. I'm going to click on camera 5 just as an example. Now what it's going to do is going to pull open that one camera. If I double click on it, I can see it's got 10 a.m., shows the date, shows everything going on. Um, what's nice about the, the, the iDevices and your portables is on the bottom green line, I can just grab this and I can just push it left to right and move it around. So I can say I can move to here, see what's going on, move it back, see what's going on. Uh, so on and so forth. You could also go back to the very beginning if it was just playing. If you needed to speed up the camera, if you didn't know exactly when something happened and you don't want to sit here in real time for 30 minutes, you can click the double play button, which is to the right of the pause button. If I click that, I clicked it once, it went two times. I clicked it twice, it went four times. I click it again, it goes eight times. So you can see it's going to speed things up uh, to eight times real real time that way saves you time in trying to find the exact timestamp of what happened if on the flip happens you want to slow it down you want to see something else on the other other end to the left of the of the pause button is is an is a slow down play button so as i click on that uh, i'm going i went down to four times and two times now i'm at half speed now i'm at quarter speed now i'm at eighth speed so there's nothing on the on the feed right now but if there were, let's, let's go to, let's speed it back up. Okay, so now you can see the car coming through. It's going through very slowly, so you have a chance to see slow what's going on if need be. So that's the best way to uh, check out all your cameras. If you need, there's other things that are nice. You've got the, this button in the bottom left-hand corner. If I click the, uh, the, the camera button, I just took a snapshot of what was going on. So I took a camera snapshot. It'll save it to your, your iPhoto or whatever you have there. Um, you'll be able to access that later and be able to pull it down. Uh, the best way to pull a video down if you need to give it to a law enforcement or anything like that is through the app on your computer, and that is in a separate video. Feel free to check that out and um, uh, makes it easy to do as well. Enjoy.